I am through One Piece Volume 10. And I picked up another omnibus. That means I am up to, I'm through chapter 90. That means I'm through chapter 90. So getting close to hitting chapter 100. I need to wake up! I'm not sure that's going to do it. It doesn't taste that good. Let's not promote that. Okay. Oh, oh, bad. Okay. It's fine if you don't think about it, though. See? Okay. One Piece, where did we leave off? Really? We left off, or I left off, uh, Luffy was just about to show up, and Usopp was apparently dead. And as I recall, uh, Usopp, I don't remember how we find out he's not dead, but at some point he shows up and he's definitely not dead. Right now, I don't remember how that happened. <laughs> and I know we end up going into Nami's backstory quite a bit. I don't remember if that happened before really all just builds until till the moment where Nami asks for help, asks Luffy specifically for help, and he gets, like, activated. Luffy's been activated. And I hear the scene of him walking over to Arlon Park from the village, and the anime is even more well done than it is here. But I haven't watched that episode yet, but it makes me excited to go watch that moment um, <clears throat> animated at some point. She finally asked for help. And that, at that point, that was the gap between where we stopped last time and volume 10. Volume 10 starts uh, with with Luffy starting the fight, basically. Or he has just shown up at the end of the previous chapter, and he is asking which one is Arlong. And that's where volume 10 starts. I'm not going to go uh, character by character through this, but I think the fishmen in general uh, are pretty interesting. Um, they're really ugly looking, and uh, it's sort of amusing how um, overconfident they are considering, yeah, they're fishmen. They look like parts of fish. So it's funny. You'd think they'd be goofy, but no, they're just mean and, and uh, powerful, very powerful. But of course, through a number of battles that take many chapters and, and you know, we, we basically, the characters, the different characters uh, have fights and eventually defeat the three main henchmen. But the most significant of those that, I, that caught my attention was Usopp. He distracts one and runs away and gets chased and has to make a decision. Like, he gets... He fakes getting hurt and killed and is, you know, playing dead. And apparently Usopp has died again. I get a feeling like maybe this is a, this is a thing with Usopp moving forward. But it's a thing for sure in, in this uh, volume and this arc in general so far. <laughs> so, um, but he makes a decision, you know, that he's going to actually stand up for himself and fight even though he's doesn't have any particular like strengths and he manages to basically beat a fish man which is seems impossible when you really look at how everything got laid out but they really do a good job of selling how he pulls that off plays some tricks and just flat out he does have certain skills with a slingshot and they do you know does it's highly effective let's say in certain uh, ways <laughs> against this particular fish man pirate thing so and i don't remember their names they're good enough uh well there's the H hachi is the the octopus guy right so i think that well that's one of them i think that's the octopus guy he's sort of the most memorable and his whole fight uh with his six sword technique versus the three sword technique and uh even uh zolo in his uh you know severely wounded state manages to decimate 
ultimately, right? And we do get a first uh, real look at uh, Sanji deciding to fight and be part of the crew. And then ultimately, you know, Nami does join in too, to some degree, right at the end. And there's, of course, this this whole moment where uh, Luffy uh, is sort of incapacitated, let's say, and, and his uh, survival is in question to some degree. And um, by the time you get to the end of this chapter, he has gotten free of his situation and has begun his fight in, proper with Arlong. But, uh, and he's struggling. But then he has an idea, and that's the end of Volume 10. That's where, that's the, uh, I don't know what the idea is. I'm sure it's going to lead to victory. That's my expectation. But um, that puts us like 10 chapters away from Chapter 100, which I think is where this arc and this saga end. I'll have to double check that. So that'll be a moment I expect. Um, I expect that's where I'll, you know, I'll probably just read the next volume and maybe... If I need to read chapter 100 to finish things off, I will. Um, I'll see what that is, what that actually is. So, but yeah, this is definitely my favorite arc so far in general. It's much more in depth. I realize they get even crazier. Um, I've grown, Usopp's grown on me considerably. Nami is now a much more interesting character, obviously. And it's uh, just the whole, the whole like setup is fun. And then the moment where, Lu where she finally asked, Luffy for help is very satisfying, and then the way the help develops is interesting, and we're about to, about to get to the, uh, well, I don't know if it's the conclusion to that help, but I expect to some degree. It's I don't know what other issues might arise, but we're going to find out. So, looking forward to more. Until the next video. Mm -hmm.